campaign since 1988 with Jack Kemp. All of my candidates I have ever worked for have had one thing in common. They have all moved and promised to eliminate the Federal Reserve, the income tax, and return our money to real money. <laughs> tickets out of Iowa, and the mainstream media, if Fred Thompson or somebody else picks up that third ticket and not us, that's what they'll be saying. Now, if those guys come in fourth, fifth, or sixth like we want them to, uh, they won't say that, of course, but <laughs> we're definitely going to be doing that or better. Uh, what it takes to do that, just to give you guys some numbers so you understand what's going on. Huh? Okay, I'll have to dice and hit kind of real bright. 1,784 precincts, 10 votes per precinct, just 10, and we get third place in this state. 15 votes per precinct, we're second, 20 votes per precinct, and Katie barred the door. <laughs> story. How many of you were at the headquarters in Des Moines within the last 24 hours? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They saw bodies coming through there. They saw our storage closet filled. They saw the hallways filled with bags and boxes and their state director, their political director, and some out-of-state consultant guy. I know these other two. I've worked with them for 20 years on various campaigns. Sometimes we're on the same side. Sometimes we've been on different sides. I know them all on a first-name basis, know their families and everything. They walked by and they said, how many volunteers do you have? Before I tell you what I told them, how many can guess how many volunteers they have had in their office, in their call center on a daily basis? Six. <laughs> several hotels, we got a dozen of them in each congressional district, and we're going to drop a million pieces of literature the last week. Yeah. I, 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 I the back of their heads, and I know none of them got any sleep last night. 